Hey guys, it's me, Nikki again. Um, I haven't made a video in a while. Well, I did, but I just didn't post it. I'm bad like that. Um, so I thought I'd do another one. As you can see, I'm now red head today. Um, I have been threatening to do my hair for a long time. So I thought it was about time. So yeah, it, it's, it's like, I'll take it down and show you. It's so cool. And my hair is like finally growing, so that's what it looks like. Okay, it's like it needs to be like straight ironed and things, but it's totally red. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put it up just because it's still wet and things like that. So I'm gonna leave it down. I'm like still in my pajamas. Um, so I thought I would just do a, a quick video. Well, I'll try to be quick. Those who watch my videos know they never really are, but um. I was asked by a few people to f just to talk about what makeup I use and things like that and you know if they where they could get them in South Africa and stuff. Um, I don't really use things like from the chemist and things like that but if I do I use NYX. NYX is very good but most of my stuff is MAC. Um, so I'm just going to show you like which one what I have and then what I kind of use it for. I mean although it's pretty obvious. Um, okay, so when, before I start, I put on like a lipstick over where my beard is. I know it's quite embarrassing. I am doing laser, but that beard's still there. So I get this blue shadow that you can probably see because um, I didn't do it today. So I normally put it like a red lipstick over my over the beard area, like here in my lip, and that red counteracts the blue of the beard and neutralizes it and then I conceal it I put a concealer over so I've got like a MAC one it's the bed head, oh it's a bed head, it's not even MAC I don't even know my makeup okay so yes it's a bed head concealer but it's, it's almost finished so I need to get more hopefully as the laser goes on I won't have to do that as much I really don't I can kind of get away with it but yeah so Conceal, red lipstick, important. Um, I don't know where the red lipstick that I use for it is. I think this is it. Kinda, okay, a little bit lighter, but like that. Like my hair. So, yeah, and then you put it on, and then you put the concealer over, and then it hides your beard. So for anyone struggling with that, that's what I do. Um, I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but it's what I do, and it kinda works. So, yeah. Then, obviously, I put on foundation. Um, I used to use the Studio Sculpt from Mac. This is like an advert. I used to use Studio Fix. Sculpt. Shit, I would be fired. Okay, so I used to use that. Um, it was quite cool, but it's got a pH in it, uh, SPF in it. And like, if I'm shooting, it comes out super white. So, I don't really use it anymore. Also, it's really thick. Um, and I don't want to put thick stuff on my face. So, it's like a backup. Now, I use Mac Mineralize. Um, it, it's really cool, it's, it's also got an SPF, but it just seems to be thinner, like it's not as like pasty on -y. Um and yeah, it's quite cool and it's got like a moisturizer and stuff inside it too, I think, I don't know, that's what the lady told me, <laughs> but um, I am liking that, I'm not wearing that today, I'm wearing that one today, but I wear this most, so that's my back foundation. Then I use a translucent powder to like keep everything there. So, I use Yardley. Uh, <laughs> I'd be a terrible campaign person. Um, but I use Yardley just because I think, from what I've heard, translucent powder is translucent powder. It's all kind of the same. So, I use that to kind of keep everything in place. So, that's, so that's what I use. Yes. That I bought from Chex. Discam. That's what I bought from Discam. Um, then, for my eyes, I, I got like MAC, and I've got a whole bunch of different colors, but I generally only use three. Uh, either black and purple, which are both from MAC, from a palette, or I've used Woodwinked, which is like a goldy thing, Bronze, which is like a goldy thing, and Mulch, which is like a goldy thing. So I use those mostly, because um, sometimes I feel just dark is too hot, but otherwise I use black and purple and do like a smoky eye kind of vibe. Then I have a... MAC part liner. I know it's very little, but I like to put on eyeliner with a brush. I'm not very good at those pens or pencils or things like that. Um, so yeah, so MAC part liner. It's good. I like it. Then for 
eyebrows to look all flattery. <laughs> and I use a Smashbox. I have Smashbox Hyper Lash Mascara. It's really cool. I must be honest. I've I've used a lot. Um, but this one so far has been my favorite. It's got a nice brush. It's got a nice like, to, and it lasts. It's really cool. So that's that. I actually struggled to get that eyeliner, and that mascara doesn't leave my face. Um, if I highlight, this is a little thing I got from Inklot. So it's a little palette. I've actually got two palettes here. So I use that purple for my eyes. And then I use that highlighter there to highlight certain things. I didn't do it today. I haven't put much effort in today. Um, but yeah, so that's what I use. Inklot for the highlighting. It is really cool. We also do have a highlighter from Benefit, which is awesome. But it's in my girlfriend's kit. She's got it. It's not fair. So yeah, so that's what I use. Then for my contouring things. I don't contour with foundation, it's just it's, it's too much for me. Like I don't I don't like to look that done up. So if I do contour, which I normally do just on my like cheeks and a bit of my nose, because I do have a big nose, so I need to hide it. Um I just use MAC Mineralize bronzer. It's called Give Me Sun. Um and it's quite cool. So I just on my like cheeks and on my nose and a bit of my jaw. So I actually don't look like this. I'm actually a 12 foot tall ogre. Okay, I'm not really, but yeah, so that's what I used to contour. I just put that on over my translucent powder and everything. So it's cool. And then the best thing that I got, okay, it's the newest thing that I got, so I, I like it, it's fun. Um, I got this little eyebrow kit from Benefit. Ah, Benefit, look, look how it shines, look how it shines. And it's quite cool because it's got like a little waxy thing which you put onto your eyebrows, which like makes your eyebrows stay. And then it has like a little powder. See, so it's got that thing. And you can see my camera, look, ooh, pretty camera. But um, yeah, so it's got that. And so like to make the eyebrows, on flick, y'all. <laughs> so I'm, cause I have got quite a lot of compliments with my eyebrows. I don't think they're that great at the moment. They, they, they're running wild. But yeah, so that's what I use for my eyebrows. It is important. Um, I don't really do lips. Um, I very rarely, I'm not good at it. I always feel like I look like a bit of a clown and because I talk and stuff and I'm you know constantly touching my face and it never really lasts long. So if I do do lips then I use this because I am quite kind of colorful. So again it's MAC but look how beautiful it is. It's pink. Okay like pink is my favorite color in case you didn't know and for the people who wanted to know pink is my favorite color and that is amazing. So that's Candy Yum Yum. It's so cool. It's such a beautiful color. So if I ever do lips, that's how I go for. Um, so yeah, so that's my makeup. Um, I'm not like a maestro at makeup. I generally keep it very simple. Um, and it's funny because I have a makeup artist girlfriend. But if I want to do overboard stuff, I kind of just ask her to do it for me. Because she's there. She, need, she can practice. Not that she needs it, but she can. Um, so yeah, so that's what I do. So, but if any of you want me to like actually show you, I can try. I don't know how good I'd be at that. I'd probably screw up. Uh, <laughs> but I'd be happy to actually like show you. So, you know, that, that, that's the makeup I use. I know it's pretty like, meh kind of topic. There is one other thing I wanted to talk about quickly. Um, it, so it's not going to be the shortest video in the world. I'm sorry. But yeah, so for you, if you did watch that and you asked me about my makeup, that's what I kind of use. Um, I can go into more depth if you'd like me to. Um, I have kind of learned how to hide my boyish features. You know, unfortunately, they're there. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was a little bit more deep, a little bit more insightful. Anybody who watches my channel or my videos knows that this is coming. I never speak about light-hearted things all the time. My makeup was the lightest one. And, um, but I wanted to s talk about be coming out as trans or coming out as gay or coming out as anything, you generally tend to lose people. Like, they might not always be the people that you necessarily want in your life, but you do, you know, and sometimes you do lose the people that you want in your life. And that's tough, you know, and we all deal with it and we've all come to terms with it and we've all accepted it. The question I want to ask is how do you guys deal with it when that person wants to come back into your life? You know, so for whatever reason they've left it and I, I asked this because it's been happening to me 
slowly over the last couple of months where people who have blatantly stopped talking to me since my coming out have now started to slowly talk to me. And I would, I would think that the natural response would be like, ah, screw them, you know, they weren't there for me during my hardest, so I don't want to be there now. But I just feel it takes so much energy to be negative and be hateful. Like, I don't know if it's just because I'm too lazy to hold a grudge or anything like that. But I, I mean, I liked them before my transition. And I'm that, okay, I'm not the same person, but my soul is still the same. Because that was always the real me. And I like those people who had left me, you know, but I, I was obviously friends for them for a reason. Um, so them coming back now, I don't see why I should be negative towards them. Because they obviously left because they were dealing with something themselves that was probably provoked by me being me. But I don't know. I don't know the story. So why should I be negative towards them now? If they've managed to sort out what they needed to, then I'm all for that. Um, so my thought on the topic is that if you were friends with them before and you liked them before, then why can't you be friends with them now? Um, I am. You know, for those who have made the effort to message me now and, you know, just try keeping contact. I don't even need an apology. Just if you try keeping contact, I will never be like, no, screw you, you weren't there. Because I like people and I like friends. And, and for all those people who, like, message me and, when, and I reply and they're like, oh, I can't believe you reply. Of course I'm going to reply. I try to reply to everyone. If I miss you, it's not from a lack of trying. It's probably just because your message has been buried in amongst some other ones and I haven't gotten to it. Um, but I do try to reply to everyone. I like having friends. <laughs> you know, like, and if we talk once, that's cool. But, um, you know, so don't be shocked if I reply. I, I'm not like some super famous person. I'm just little old Nicole. And, you know, you guys watching it, this makes me who I am you know if if you didn't watch this I would be posting aimless videos and have 10 people watching them like I did a year ago you know so you know I will always talk to everyone you know unless you're a douche but um you know luckily there's more of you that aren't than are anyway so yeah so make up that topic you know when people come back into your life after rejecting you or leaving or you know for whatever reasons how do you deal with that? And if there are any other things that you guys would like me to talk about or answer or whatever, I'd be happy to. I, I, I need, those are a lot of things to say. I'm not that exciting. So feel free to like throw topics my way. Um, and yeah, maybe next time I'll make a video on the stairs. I'm kidding. Okay, I miss around a lot. Okay, bye.